Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Moroccan trellis pattern in Adobe Photoshop. To start off with, let's go ahead and create our new document. So we'll go ahead and click on Create New. The dimensions for this document is going to be 400 pixels by 480 pixels. Resolution set to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color. And then background content set to transparent. We'll go ahead and click on Create. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on my canvas, command or control with the plus key here. And then to start off with, we are going to add some grid lines. So we are going to go to view, new guide layout, and then I'm going to set columns to two and rows to two, and then we'll click on OK. That way we have our center point marked here. Next, I'm going to create a circle using the ellipse shape tool. Under the shape tool, you can right click to access the ellipse tool, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is U on the keyboard. And then if you want to toggle between the various shape tools, you will go shift U and that brings us to our ellipse tool here. Just clicking on the canvas here, we are going to create a circle that is 200 pixels by 200 pixels. And then we'll go ahead and click on OK. Under the settings, I'm going to turn off fill and then we are going to add a stroke. We are going to change our stroke to 20 pixels here. And then under the settings here, I'm going to change the align to align to the center. And then accessing the move tool V on the keyboard, we're just going to bring that to where it aligns with our grid lines. And then clicking on option, click or alt click for PC, you are going to click and drag until we create our second circle there. And then moving to my layers panel here just so I can see what's happening. Let's go ahead and just make a duplicate of this layer. So command or control J. We are going to uh, turn off that layer and then we'll just bring it to the back for the moment. And then we also need to create a rectangle. So with our shape tools, let's go shift U and then we will scroll through until we get our rectangle shape tool here. Clicking on the canvas. For this one, we are going to do a width of 200 pixels, and then our height is going to be 320 pixels, and then clicking OK. And then we are going to align this to the center. Accessing the Move Tool V, you can click and drag until it aligns with your grid lines here. And then moving back to our Layers panel, let's go ahead and highlight all of those layers, Shift-click and then right clicking and then let's scroll down until we see merge shapes and that will merge all of our shapes together. Let's go ahead and turn off that layer for a moment. We'll bring back our circle here using the move tool. Let's go ahead and align it to the center and then I'm going to rasterize this layer. So let's go right click, rasterize layer and then we are going to use the marquee tool, which is M on the keyboard. And then you are just going to draw out a rectangle using that center grid line. And then we will right click and then we are going to do layer via cut. And now you can see we have two separate layers here. So with this layer selected, we are going to make one more cut. We are going to draw out a rectangle and then we will go right click layer via cut. And then we are going to do that one more with this layer, drawing out our rectangle. Right click, layer via cut. And now we have our four parts of our circle. So accessing the move tool again, V on the keyboard. Let's go ahead and drag this corner down here. And then we will do the same for each of the different corners until we get the shape here. And then let's go ahead and bring back our other shape. We have one more step to go. We need to get rid of these lines here. So with this shape selected, let's go ahead and right click to rasterize layer. Deselect there. And then I'm going to bring out a guideline from my ruler here. And then I'm going to just position it 
and align it with the edge of that inside edge. And then we'll do that one more time for this side here. If you do not see the rulers here on the side, you'll need to go to view and make sure rulers is selected. Let's go ahead and select the layer of our shape and then we are going to use the marquee tool M on the keyboard. And then with those guides, we are just going to drag out our rectangle here. And then we will go right click, layer by cut. And then you can go ahead and delete that new layer and now we have the basic shape of our Moroccan trellis. Let's go ahead and define this pattern. So we'll go edit, define pattern. You can give your pattern a name and then just click on OK. Let's go ahead and test our pattern in a new document. So let's go file new. This time we are going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, which is 3600 pixels. By 3600 pixels, resolution set to 300 pixels per inch, color mode RGB color, background content set to transparent, and then click on create. To test out our pattern, let's go ahead and use an adjustment layer. We are going to choose a solid color first for our background. Let's go ahead and just set that one to white, FFF, and then click on OK. And then we are going to add a pattern adjustment layer and then just select OK and then let's bring up our patterns panel. If you do not see your patterns panel, go ahead and go to windows and select patterns and then scroll down to the bottom and you'll see your newly created pattern here. And then let's add one more solid color adjustment layer. This time we'll leave it black for the moment and then we are going to create a clipping mask so you can right click create clipping mask, or you can hover between the two layers, option click or alt click for PC to create your clipping mask here. So now we have our seamless repeating Moroccan trellis pattern. Let's go ahead and change up the colors here. So we'll click on this bottom layer. Let's go ahead and choose a teal color here. And, and then we'll click on this top layer here and select another color. And now we have our two tone colored Moroccan trellis pattern. To save this as digital scrapbook paper, you are going to go to File, Export, Export As. Here you have the options to change the file settings. You can click on the down arrow. Um, for this, we are going to leave it as JPEG. And then when it comes to digital scrapbook paper, you want to make sure it's a high quality so you can change the quality there. And then scrolling down, I like to click embed color profile here, and then you can just click to export your design. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a Moroccan trellis pattern in Adobe Photoshop. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to create patterns in Photoshop. In the description below, I will leave a link to my Etsy shop where you can purchase digital paper packs. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.